Welcome everyone to RGN. We are live into our Winter Classic 2. We got Games Academy going up against Sponsorless, also known as SKDC. Dust 2 is going to be our first map here. And uh, I'm Sprawl, joined by Laser Jesus, our producer. Um, I had his game crash. So yeah, we're, we're getting back into things. They're going long, Chad. Yeah, a little bit of radio broadcast. They are going long. And it's a five-man long play here from SKDC. Only one man in the A-bomb site. And that's Showtime. Sponsorless, former SKDC, getting into pit with one of their players. Still yet to be seen if they're going to commit or fall back towards middle, but this is a straight, long commitment. Lots of CTs here, though. The smoke is up for the cross. Ocean with an excellent first frag. Looks like that was with the Glock, but two right back at him from Bolts. And now it's three on three as the bomb goes down. But only long for SKDC. Oh, three CTs coming from that CT ramp area. Henny onto invert. Swift shot. Nifty at the ramp. He'll fall as well. Only else towards long A. He's going to try and take the duel with Lucas and Phelps, but he will lose it. So Games Academy on the retake there. Wasn't a terrible post plant from, uh, from the T side, but yeah, they're working more towards long A and losing those players near that CT ramp. Uh, didn't bode well for them. I'm not sure if it was SKDC... Maybe they didn't have intel that all three Games Academy members were working up from the CT spawn because they had two long, one near the pit already. If you get two players in pit and all the CTs are coming up, or all the Ts are coming up from CT spawn, well then, that should be their round. So I, I have to think it was a lack of intel, but everything started going wrong once any got the opening frag onto Invert, who was peeking into CT spawn. And that's where I think, uh, was it a mistake or miscoordination, miscalling? I don't know. Sponsorless, they did get a bomb plant, hence them not getting a lot here. You see a flash on Ocean, P250s on a couple. Nifty actually going to go with the Deagle. That's because he has a little bit more to play with, I suppose. Not going to hit a shot onto Lucas. And this is not looking good thus far. Invert, nice shot from him, but uh, looks like it's going to be it. Indeed, it is the case. So, two frag for Bolts, two for Lucas. Phelps with one. And Games Academy only losing a single member, not too bad at all, but they get have an AK buy for SKDC in front of them. And this is looking good for Sponsorless, is often the case when it comes down to the Force buy. Games Academy making a bunch of money, though, keeping only one SMG onto Bolts, who's looking hot with it. The guy, Bolts' spray control, by the way, is just ridiculous, so oh, yeah. not worried about him with the UMP. Sponsorless opening up with a slow strat. Ooh, Bolts closing oh. the distance at mid, getting super aggressive. Ocean, if he's not ready, this might be an AK for Bolts. Ocean, that's a big one. Definitely. Ocean taking a little bit of damage there. Bolts getting highly aggressive. And nice flashbang out middle. Henny fully widescreen. They're going to be playing one on either side, Phelps. Putting a lot of damage into the players at Double Doors, but goes down to Ocean. So, second frag for the T side. I'm picking apart Games Academy a little bit here. And how is GA going to get back into this round? As if it ends up being a catwalk play, we can see A is fairly open, but Henny and Lucas, they're going to take down uh, two more, create a three on three. And Showtime might find the perfect timing onto Els. Oh, oh wow. that's disastrous. Els usually money on the flank. So sponsorless, they're only going to have cat control, and that's Ocean. He does put the smoke down. We'll see if Games Academy want to run through it. If they lose cat control, that should be it. Showtime working up long now. One player, I think he dropped into CT. No, Invert. Really interesting spot. Perched up near the catwalk. Taking the fight. Ooh, Ooh the spray control. It was fantastic. And now Ocean hanging out of the catwalk. It's one for one. Invert position has been exposed. And falling back into the bomb site. And he Oof. should be should have a good read on where that flash came from, though. Yeah, definitely. It's widescreen for a moment. Invert jumps up and peeks. And I don't think Henny was expecting as much. Nice headshot from Invert. And Sponsorless bringing it back. It looked like Games Academy was uh, was going to be able to shut it down. But it was uh, honestly Invert just showing up. Yeah, I still yeah. don't know how he hit that shot on long. His crosshair was pre-aimed towards the CT ramp. And he hit immediate headshot onto a player coming from long aim. <laughs> it almost looked like the, the flinch that you get from getting right. shot ended up helping him out and ocean having a smoke in that situation was vital i don't know if he gets more than a kill there on catwalk if he doesn't have it but i also have to commend games academy on their reaction because they lose that player at mid and they lose two i don't know if both of them were at mid but then they kind of just coagulate where the where the gap was exposed at mid where they said they sacrifice their b player and one of the players in ct spawn they both get kills but still lose the round yeah definitely it was uh 
after they lost those two players, made good work of the situation. But now on the save, Bolts with the scout in hand, trying to work middle. Phelps and Lucas were there, but actually going to be rotating back. So this is a pretty decent mid presence. And he in Showtime, a vertical stack on the catwalk. And Sponsorless is playing this very cautiously. And this is honestly what you like to see, but a pop flash play. And there's a counter flash as well. Showtime, fully white screen, Twister with both. No, uh, they should be able to open up a little bit further. Yeah, Twister heading up on the catwalk. Nifty with one under Lucas. Leaves Bolts and his scout. Very sound anti-eco from Sponsorless. Not giving up any players, any damage until the very end. Else surviving with just seven. Was that a counter or was that a pre-flash or a counter flash? It looked like it was way too fast to be to be a counter flash. So just yeah, that's a good timing. Point. Yeah, very good point. And actually looking at it again, that may have even just been essentially the player at the bottom of the stairs. I'm just looking at like our fancy replay just watching the stream. <laughs> um he right clicks a flash and they move forward, and I think that that actually uh flashed one of the team members. Interesting. It looked like he was avoiding it, but anyhow, to all, and as we can see. We'll have that up on Henny now. So, seen a lot of madness from this player. Going back to the Pro Series land, specifically on this map. Take me back, Chad. Right? It's a beautiful, beautiful club I don't care about there. the 16-hour days, all the, all, the, all the mistakes, all the delays. It was all worth it for that one clutch. Exactly. And again, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, look up Cloud9, or Henny versus Cloud9. And that is all you need to witness. But, I'm going to see if he can... Perform some of the same magic in this match. He's going to be holding from Carr. And again, Sponsorless working fairly slowly. They've got a decent nade set to work with. Let's see Ocean and Nifty up on the catwalk area. And they will smoke down towards CT spawn. Looks like they'll go for the flash and jump play. Bolts is waiting for it, though. Nifty only takes half hit points uh, on his way down, though. And Bolts is going to flash his way through. Nifty doesn't win the duel. Bolts gets two. Bolts with five hit points remaining. Massive double kill from him. Bolts is nutty. Very controlled, those automatics just out of control from Bolt. And an invert will go down. So Games Academy responding with the flawless round of their own. I thought that was well executed from Sponsorless. They got the player into CT without dying. Any trying to find an angle to peek from from the A site with his AWP. He's denied. It just came down to Bolt's being nutty. I think Bolt's had a pretty good read on that Sponsorless. Um, we've been seeing a decent amount of that recently from a lot of different teams on this map, to be fair. But yeah, Bolt's, the way that he played towards Cat is essentially a counter to that specific smoke strat. And uh, it, although it, it could have worked a little better and that he could have taken down Nifty as he was on his way down, but still flashing his way through and taking down a second. I just can't believe that. But Phelps opening things up, takes down Twister in the middle. A little bit of damage dealt to Showtime and bolts towards long A. It's going to be a split here, but Games Academy reacting very quickly. I don't know how Sponsorless wins at long. There's still three members of Games Academy there. They're going for the bomb plant quite early. They may just get the bomb down. All right, a little consolation, but the real story is Games Academy surviving with everybody, and I like the way Games Academy dealt with long. They didn't immediately rush everybody out. They didn't try to get a guy in the pit right away. They almost played just... A very, a very short delay retake. So two rounds to the benefit of Games Academy. And doing so two rounds in a row flawlessly means that their bank is already looking uh, pretty strong. So good news for them. And to be, to be fair, it could get even better. They've got some deagles to go up against. P250s, Difty with only a Glock. And... See how Sponsorless attempts to take here. Bolts and Lucas playing pushed up on the catwalk. They both have some nades primed. Rest in peace, Nifty. I love that set play. But Twister opening up onto Phelps. This one deeg in middle. So one for one trade. Not too bad at all for uh, Sponsorless. But Bolts taking down Elson middle. And a frag from Henny at the back of the platform. Make it a second and a third. Henny. He's heating up a little bit here. Nice shots uh, into the B tunnels. Nice eco kills make you feel good. I would have been shocked if Ocean hit the one dig, though it is referred to as the OD. The Games Academy, look at that money already. It's just building and building. We're still early on in the half. The sponsorless, even if they don't win this round, they need to do some damage. And Eni has been everywhere so far with this AWP. We've seen him at Long, we've seen him at Catwalk, we've seen him at B. It's hard for Sponsorless to predict and react to this because how Games Academy is playing with any, they kind of have them playing the, the JW role. Just 
let him do whatever he wants, kind of disjoint him from the rest of the squad. Whether he gets the kills or not, we'll just play off of it. He's going to be pushed off a catwalk here. Some aggression in upper dark, though, and Lucas able to take down Twister. So, early frag for the CT side. Lucas is a little low, but it's just going to play a headshot angle in the B-bomb site. Not too worried about that. Well, it's going to drop an incendiary towards the middle doors, just reacting to the mid-to-be smoke from the T side. But at the moment, it looks like they're uh, just floating back towards long A, and well, Showtime is waiting for them. Games Academy looked to be in a lot of control. Only that one round, the, the one gun round, which led to an eco round from former SKBC. It was a three on two advantage for Games Academy, which, which spurred their two round spree loss. But other than that, Games Academy have looked in firm grasp of the match, even when they were down five on three and they had that collapse on the mid, which looked real nice. But the trade frag eventually, way later. And now Nifty from the catwalk onto any. Nobody in the bomb site for Games Academy. Everybody near the CT spawn. Really interesting CT setups. Yeah, that did not work out on both sides of the defense for Games Academy. Long A, Showtime, incendiary himself as he was flashed. It did not work out on the Henny, legged Nifty, and got killed in the process. But they create a three on three. Phelps taking down a teammate. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but well, it's Phelps Missed all alone it. now. As Ocean and Invert left. Try and win the situation. It's a really good plant for Invert and Long. Ocean will go down immediately. Invert, again, playing on the platform. Wow, wow. Phelps just going to... No, he's he's like, all right, challenge accepted. This Let me is just grab move. my weapon of choice and... Oh, he misses he the shot. And then wait, he'll go down, but... I, I love the play from Phelps, even though it didn't work out. He just He's just like, hold that thought. I'll take this duel, just give me a sec. An invert playing an off angle in that situation. Imagine if he was just posted up there and the pre-fire worked. Phelps looks like a god, but invert right. just playing an off angle changes the situation. And Phelps, did he have to reveal that he had the AWP? He went for the pre-fire though. Got to live by it. Now another round here by four. Sponsorless. Invert doesn't get any damage on the cross. Games Academy again with a three-man long play. Starting off with two in the B-bomb site. Sponsorless haven't gone fast middle yet. A lot of teams don't do that anymore. So give some lead way to Games Academy to play 3-2 and leave middle open for the time being. And Sponsorless set up with the bomb outside of B <laughs> opening. Frag for Lucas. He's in the back of the site with an auto sniper. Oh boy. Yeah, Invert was not expecting that. Just slow peeking uh, with his AWP. Nifty's going to pick it up and see if he has a better time with it. But... Yeah, that's not fun at all. In theory, Invert, if he if he could find the shot, obviously one shot over uh, over Lucas could have made the difference, but Lucas, two shots, one of them being right in the head. <laughs> and that was that. So let's get EC on the disadvantage. I'm going to work up towards I, I feel like the auto sniper, like, whoever gets killed first by it just gets a pass. Like, everybody has that mutual <laughs> yeah, hatred for the auto. It's like, oh god, yeah, everybody just kind of like shakes their, yeah, talks down about it inside of comms, and then, well, let's go somewhere else. Like, alright, not going there for now, but they know it's on the field, and that there are ways to exploit that weapon. And working out the catwalk here for everybody on the catwalk for SKDC. Soft setup by Games Academy, but Bolt's working down below, his control is incredible! Just picking heads off one by one, almost gets a third move working into the bomb site, but a five on two, probably not going to get the bomb down, they're going to go for it. Try to get what they can out of the round, but Bolts denies it with the 4k. And the first two were from the headshot from the CT spawn angle. Yeah, and he's playing that uh, fairly often. I wonder if SKDC will kind of like maybe pre-fire or at least be pre-aiming that next time they decide to go for the catwalk area. But yeah, Bolts making use of that angle very, very well. As you can see on the round where they try to do that flash into a smoke into CT spawn, he's in a good position for that. But even if they just decide to take up the catwalk, he's got an excellent headshot angle that... To be fair, it's a difficult one to hit, but when you have the control of bolts, well, you can see what happens. So he is having a yeah, hell of a game. If you're feeling confident with that angle, even if the T's know you're going to play it, it can be difficult to even pick that guy. Definitely. So it's going to be an eco coming out for SKDC. CT sad economy is looking all right, but another chance for them to blossom it. Looks like we will see a play 
Uh, towards the catwalk again. This time Volts is playing further back towards car, and to be fair, that's not a bad uh, read on the situation if they've got pistols. Want to work that long range, but this gets tapped away, unfortunately. Twister playing inside of the smoke, and well, I think they spotted him. This is not going to work out. Any with the AWP. Just taking down Invert. They get a bomb plan out of it. Only losing one member on that Games Academy side, but. The only reason that happened, too, Bull's playing at the car, and then he shifted back. He wanted to go play rail or somewhere in the bomb site, but that's the moment when SKDC took up the catwalk and gave him the old drive-by with the Glocks and P250s. No sponsor is here with that. Ooh, okay, they are able to buy. I thought I forgot about the round that they had won. I thought it was five rounds lost bonus. I am wrong. No sponsor list. How do they adapt to this? And a very shifty defense out of Games Academy. Now, and he's playing middle. So, sponsorless thinks that area is clear, but oh man, Bolt's again pushing up middle. It didn't work last time, but now he's got the Colt. There we go. Peaks the angle, takes down Ocean, the bomb carrier. And he looks back towards lower. To be fair, he, he had players on either angle, but he will be backstabbed from invert. And Hanny hitting the shot through the door. Nifty down to five hit points. So, uh, out of all that action, to be fair, yeah, it was a one for one. Only a little bit more damage dealt, though, by the CT side. But 4-on-4 four four is not necessarily a bad spot for SKDC. Just turns into how do they work off of this. Henny still opting towards the A platform has looked very solid. Showtime at long. Maybe they can uh, make a split work onto the A bomb site. I'm uncertain, but I've got 55 seconds to make a decision. And he last spotted at middle with his AWP. Now he's playing inside the A bomb site. This might be a little confusing for Sponsorless as they try to take up the catwalk. They might not expect the op to be here. Meanwhile, long take underway. This duel highly important. If Sponsorless can take control of long, excellent by else. And now Eni has two positions to worry about. Referring the CT spawn. Oh. Nifty gets the frag. That was a huge whiff out of Eni. They have the money to go for it. I think Phelps is feeling frisky. And Lucas with a Scar 20. Not exactly the weapon you want to retake with, but he finds the no-scope onto Else. And, oh, looking for the head of Invert. He, Invert was actually very vulnerable for a moment there. I think he overpeaked that a little bit, but not able to take the advantage. Twister finding the angle from a ramp onto Lucas, and that will be the round. I'm very surprised. If they actually keep this Scar 20 in play and, and make use of it, I'd be... Again, a little bit surprised. To be fair, they don't have a lot of money to play with, so maybe that's it. It's a fine piece of machinery, Chad. Ugh, awful piece of machinery. <laughs> I just think the worrisome part is Games Academy might get it back. I'm just surprised they don't spam right door. Okay, they will. They, they don't get it there quite fast enough. Get a little damage out of it, but now, how do you entry with that weapon? If yeah. you're going to entry with it, you kind of got to treat it like an op. You almost have to be third or second man in. With that weapon to do damage in late round, it becomes even more ineffective on that T side. Maybe he'll catch somebody pushing, though. This has been an active and versatile CT defense out of Games Academy. Is this, man, and he's been everywhere. You can't, you cannot predict where this op is going to be. Yeah, definitely not. And I'm wondering if SKDC might try and isolate long as they have had some decent success. You can see Showtime only with a single frag, and he's generally... The player hanging on to that uh, position went down in the last round and kind of gave up a good advantage to the other side. But we'll see how that plays out. It's long door is so huge. Time, but... Flank coming through. This is this round is going to be crazy. Yeah, so showtime again could be challenged here. Invert finds Phelps in lower dark, and that may prompt them to reroute. We can see Lucas is all the way through T spawn. There's no one in B right now. But I was taking down Henny on the corner op versus Scar Twenty and. Scar 20 will win it, but Lucas from behind, he drops the bomb carrier, and Els cannot find it with the Scar 20 right away. He does eventually, but the fire burns him, and, well, the bomb is down at long end. Ocean, oh, this is so difficult. He's going into the A bomb site, but if he's trying to win, he doesn't have time. He has to run to long. 20 seconds. All Showtime has to do is run away, of course. Yeah. Veteran player, he's going to know that, and there's no chance for Ocean. And yeah, if he wanted any chance, he had to push the guy long immediately. And even then, the riskiness of the duel he'd have to take, he'd have to overextend hardcore. The sponsor list, almost with that one. And they were thinking about going mid to B right after the player was picked lower by Invert, who was trying to flank. That was the perfect answer to the situation. But for some reason, they still opted to go A. 
Yeah, decided to go for it, and yeah, Lucas with that amazing backstab worked out really well. Right, Games Academy doubled the score line here. Sponsor list will be by question mark. All right, Ocean. I guess Ocean's just evening up the money here. Oh, he saved it. What am I talking about? They brought it through the last round. Laser, I'm going crazy. He's going to be playing an upper tunnel with said weaponry. Else, uh, with a vest trying to go long alone. Showtime able to deal with that. But they're going to creep forward into B. Lucas playing this angle yet again. Barrels. And he's going to take down two. Phelps still with him as well. And there should be that. Nice cleanup from Games Academy. Not a lot for SKDC on that round. Yeah, playing the headshot barrel in the back of Platt. Ocean was trying to take point with the AK, look to open it up. The angle of Lucas, too cheeky. And now 9-4. to four. Games Academy upon losing, still going to have a good next round. So a lot of pressure on SKDC, formerly, of course. Whenever I see sponsor lists, it's just, it makes me think of too many different teams. I, I got to say yeah. former SKDC, sorry if it bugs you. And he smoked off of Long, Showtime there with him, and they're going to completely secede it without cat control as well. This is a really good opening for a sponsor list. And he getting aggressive towards Cat finds wow. the headshot through the wall onto Twister. Showtime follows it up. They do have Long control here. Phelps fully blind, peeking wide. They will not be able to punish him for such thing. And Invert heading back towards middle. Bolts will be there, and that is the bomb being dropped. Now it's left up to Ocean and Else, and again, they were the long A players, so Bolt keeping wide. We'll find the spray down. Small opportunity there for Else. Ocean last up. We'll find one, but has to complete the 1v4 now. Not gonna happen. Phelps finishes him off on the catwalk. What can you do against that? That, that round looks so good for SKDC. There, it was initially playing long for Games Academy. They're forced to fall off of long. They don't have time to go back onto the catwalk or any attempted it. But either way, sponsor lists are going to beat them up there. So it was an excellent crunch. Games Academy didn't have forward control of long or catwalk. But then any hits an amazing shot. Like you can't do anything against that. The peak that I, I, I forget who was the opening kill uh, who got dropped by any. But that peak was sick. Yeah, I, Twister. I, how, how do you hit so that insane. shot? Yeah, that, yeah, I really don't know. And it looked like, the way he was hopping up, I'm like, oh boy, this is going to be a difficult shot for Hetty, purely because uh, they were kind of hopping around as they were coming on up. But yeah, just, it does not phase him, Laser. As NOA stack, Phelps goes down to the top of it, though. And both taking significant damage. Showtime will be able to take down Nifty towards Cat. It will be a 4-on-4, four four, but uh, lots of damage up to CTs. Where are they going to head off of this? They still have a lot of time. Two at mid. Yeah, they're going to go with the mid to B. Very light on the mid to B. Only one man there. Bolt. Looking to have a flash timing out mid. Bolt the T back and wins the fight. He had so little HP. And now Lucas. Sponsorless don't expect him to be on the other side. And two on three. And they have a smoke for doors. So this is doable. So smoke goes down. Invert train. Ooh, Bolt's going down to Twister inside of the smoke. Nice pre-fire there. It's going, going to leave Showtime and Henny. Last round of the first half. Sponsorless really need this fifth round. Fairly even map. Definitely don't want to give up an 11th and 10 already looking not so great, but we'll see if they can hold this off. Twister up towards the window. Henny wow. finds in for Twister. Tries to peek out and he does Take down Showtime, so 1v1. Henny is going to not find a rifle on his way to the door. He just wanted to throw his off, and oh, he's going to jump out with a P250 and still get the job done. Style points, my friend, as uh, he finds a defuse in the end. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to switch for a rifle or an automatic upon dropping his op, but couldn't find one. I don't know where it went. Went nicely done anyways. The pop flash looked like it was effective as well. And Games Academy up 11 to 4. There was a point in the half when it was 2-2 after the anti-eco of sponsor list. They looked pretty dominant and, and well controlled as, as a unit. But after that, Games Academy picked them apart. Something else I got to highlight is any zop. It's, it's not as reactionary to the setups as Invert is. Like last time we casted former SKDC on Dust2, we saw Invert make the necessary adjustments, like assisting Invert, or excuse me, Ocean, at the B bomb site when he was struggling over there. Whereas any, he's adjusting his position preemptively all over the place. 
yeah, it's very cool to watch where they decide to put him in such an... I, I'm wondering how much comes from the Ingame leader and how much he's like, okay, I just, I, he's just got uh, a feel for where he wants to play that round. I, I'm uncertain. I imagine it plays into their strats, though, but... Uh, I'm trying to think back. I, I, I don't feel like it was just this out of control. Yeah, when, when Zeus was around and such. Yeah, in general. But uh, I do want to let you guys know. This match is brought to you in part by Enermax. You guys are looking to... Start a new PC build of some sort. You need a power supply, some liquid coolers, cool case, something to that effect. Uh, definitely check out Animax. They got awesome gear, really high quality stuff. And again, I, I, I realize we're sponsored by them, but I, they're definitely some of the highest quality stuff you can find in the market. Again, they've been making power supplies for quite some time. So definitely check them out. And uh, if you guys are unaware, we do have a Portuguese stream going on for this match specifically on azulu.tv forward slash goRGNTV3. So just the exact same uh, address that you're at right now, only add a 300 to the end, and you'll get uh, Beta, a Portuguese castle. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, just wait to get into the second half of play here. Yeah, sponsorless. Not I looking got, so I hot got for some them. more to say about Enermax, Chad. All right, let's hear it. There's a monitor called the Ostrog Pink. While we have a couple seconds before the match goes live, I strongly recommend you check it out if you want to be a land troll or uh, you like the color oh, the pink PC or you're case? a female. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he said monitor, so they may have been confused, but I knew oh. what you were on to. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to lose to a guy with the pink monitor. So right? I exactly. recommend getting that. I'm getting my second PC built in that thing. Looks very pretty and confusing to all my friends that come over. 11 to 4, Games Academy. There we go. Games Academy with two smokes, Penny and Bolts. And a little bit of utility on top of it. Four pieces of armor and a kit on ocean. Smoke as well. Interesting, Ocean is playing B, and he does have a smoke. I'm wondering when they decide to utilize it. He's trying to buy as much time. He's actually just not going to use it, and he's not finding heads, eventually wow. getting one. But that is not the way you want to see that go, as they still had Invert in the site. Phelps deals with him. That was quick through the doors, but he actually finds two. I did not recognize that that was the case, and, well, two on three. Looking not so bad here for SKDC, but Bombsite Control for Games Academy. And losing that last member makes it really hard to get the bomb down. Lucas versus two now. Almost gets a player peeking from window. He's so low. Els peeks out. Completes the 3k. Els coming up and saving the day from the doors. That was three for him in the end. So Sponsorless staying alive with that. And if Els was playing B on plat that round, we'd probably see a really different round. Both Invert and Ocean had all the time in the world. A full clip tapping away with the USP and they only got one out of it. Yeah, not what you want to see, that is for certain. So, you're going to see Games Academy. They didn't get a bomb plant, so forced by here. A little late to the situation, to be fair. As Phelps last one to buy, and actually Showtime didn't buy any, uh, didn't buy anything. This is what well, weird. I expect it from Henny, because he's probably just saving so up what for does his that AWP, mean? but I don't, that mean? are they going for the double op on the T side, first gun round? Or it's a really precise, they, they need a certain amount of smokes and flashes from Showtime? I'm not sure. Well, it's going to be a middle to B play here on their eco. Their smoke's good. Ocean's going to be playing close to the door. Immediate two headshots though. Bolts eventually deals with him. He will be able to make it into the window as well. Three on three. And they're going to rush to get the bomb down. Do the CTs try to contest right away? Els coming in from the window. Spots one going to double. Doesn't complete the kill. We don't have a flank underway either. Not a lot of utility for the retake. Just one flash. So the flash comes over and the retake begins. But Nifty doesn't even wait for it. Finds the perfect timing and it doesn't matter how well you can tr uh, control your spray. Bolts doesn't have a chance there. They got the bomb down. And I, I don't think we're going to get to see uh, why Showtime save now. Yeah, exactly. There's, we get bomb down. Going to be quite a bit of change for them to work with. As let's see, Shaw in this round. Yeah, considering yeah, 4250 and 4300 moving into that next round, they're going to have so much to play around with. So let's see what kind of strat they decide to go for here. What, another bomb plan, I suppose. Like, of course, they don't necessarily need it, but can consistently get bomb plants that is fantastic and they got two smokes phelps and heady might just be another middle to be considering how well that worked out yeah they have the smokes for it i wonder if this is like on their gun rounds they're definitely like 
they're not going to utilize the mid to be as much and they're just going to do it on eco throw it in there but then once you hit the rifle rounds maybe not utilize it as much or save it for later just some theory crafting but i don't know it, it, it's hard to gain any intel coming into the gun rounds from the anti eco because obviously the pc setups are going to be a little different so maybe that's the case yeah. maybe they're just trying to keep hitting them with it to soften it later but it's too early in my opinion for that to be their objective well, some more rifles to drop two frags for Games Academy. And now, yeah, pretty much everything they want on this first gun round from the Games Academy side. And I'm also wondering from the former SKDC side, we saw the adaptation by Invert to go assist Ocean when he was getting picked on at the B-bomb site. And we've seen him go there at the start of the round on multiple rounds already on their CT side. So is that their concrete adjustment to the setup or was that just for anti eco Oh, finding the tag through the door. Ocean, lots of damage dealt to him already, and will this prompt a push? Now, they'll sail some nades into the bomb site itself, but just going to stay towards the lower uh, dark stairs here. The bomb, Showtime, and Lucas. And in the first rifle round, how do they decide to take it? If they recognize they legged Ocean, maybe they work another mid to B. Lucas going to take a fight towards middle. Invert gets out of there in good time, though. And Games Academy, they have plenty of time to play around with the round here. Bolts is going to leave long, though, and this makes me think they'll commit in just a moment. Yeah, it's been identified that the op has fallen back to that B bomb site, and he was posted up on it for a little while. And now comes the cat commitment. One player inside of the site. That's Nifty. He's going to play a headshot from the site. Molotov splash is pouring in. Nifty is burning <laughs> on the rail. The fire just creeping over. And now the take comes through. Lucas with the eventual trade. And back and forth. Twister still hanging on. So they have long control for the sponsorless side. The Games Academy going to have to hold on to Cat. But no, they don't have the bomb. Yeah, the bomb was dealt with by Twister from the pit. Nifty, the only player he dealt damage to, at least as far as I could tell, was uh, actually hold that thought some play towards the middle here ocean goes down so and he huge. finds twister and now it's up to invert he's got his op in hand and he will head towards long a i don't like the way twister played that at all he gave any an open shot see if invert can save the day he's peeking up towards long any and bolts not peeking at any thinking about it now they have identified that he's there so they should be able to trade off of this but they're both in the same position just stuck behind the bomb site Invert with the molly, taking the fight early is Bolton, and he will finish the job. Six stuff. Having Bolts take the fight with the AK, if he misses his first shot, that's fine, but then Annie would immediately follow it up. Nicely done by Games Academy, but I have to be critical of Twister in that situation. He peeked up wide to the right, exposing a lot of his body, when I think he just plays whack-a-mole in that situation, just constantly peeking, uh, giving that op very little to shoot at, and then you'll always have eyes on the bomb. Sponsorless having to eco here. Not a good spot for them. Games Academy already on 12. And seeing if they make this one work. Ooh, Lucas and Phelps taking a lot of damage early here. And I guess that was just due to the fast cap play. Thought that Games Academy was maybe going to catch them off guard for how quickly they made it up, but no. SKDC working well against it. They're going to start peeking the corner. Not a lot of HP, and yeah, that's... Kind of what happens. I'm surprised that they decided to commit further into that. Here we go. B-bomb site. Play. Wow. Ocean gets showtime on the drop. And it's Phelps and Henny left to try and salvage the situation. But both are low. Both really low. Ocean, that shot was so nasty. But it has been identified that both of the CTs are in the bomb site. They try to push into the tunnels. Crazy reaction to the situation. But Ocean is still in control of the bomb. He doesn't know that both players are coming from B. And only one shot for both the remaining two, and he's going to try to get tricky. So he leaves the bomb site and heads back towards the tunnels, I imagine. This could be the magic move. It really comes down to how long does it take for Phelps and Henny to actually get into the bomb site. As well as that, does Ocean take the first shot? He does. No. Oh boy. And now things get even more interesting. They get the bomb site for free. Ocean still with a hit point advantage, but he needs to find a 1v1 when they go for the bomb plan. If I hadn't seen any do it on oh, land, I'd call him a cheater. Ocean from the doors. Spots out the first one, but in the back of the bomb site. Ocean taking a significant amount of damage. Oof. Now he's in one-shot territory as well and just going to fall off with that AK. And the awareness of any. Maybe it was one of his teammates that called it. Maybe watch. 
the flank from tunnels, but that was insane. Yeah, right when he's coming on up there. Right, aim swaps on over, but Ocean. I, I think Ocean and else, if they look back at the way that played out on like a demo or something, they're probably not going to be too happy with themselves with the situation they were actually in. Again, else pushing into tunnels. I, I, that play to me, when you have the bomb down at car, seems a little unnecessary. Um, but Ocean, he gets it done in the end, but not when it actually, uh, well, it does still matter, obviously. He gets the op out of it, but obviously would have wanted to steal that round of ways. Um, it would have been a huge amount of momentum for them as well. Those are pretty key frags. As long as they can win this round, ooh, double op invert as well as nifty they're both looking towards mid we might have the double pick let's see it one up one down versus any and he will get out of there is he going to re-peak is the question though he's going to do it there it is invert completes the kill but games academy immediately hitting long sponsors are trying to contend and it's two for two with that opening pick i guess they couldn't fall back off a long though and we'll see invert rotate so they've got two ops looking at the same thing here one on top of the platform one at the ct cross but t-side and games academy rotating out we'll head back towards top middle ocean was hit through the doors when he was crossing at the start of the round so he's already at 50 hit points but routing back towards long invert might get caught out here and he does he's trying to check the blue bin and yeah just a little bit of an overextension nifty hitting a shot though it's going to be a two-on-two -two coming up long A. Interesting. He smokes himself off, but Lucas spams him, and then the nade comes through. That was so close to being a kill. Just 25 HP, and Phelps finds the angle. Looks like he crept up into the bomb site, just silently jumping his way up. And then now the bomb is kind of planted for long. It doesn't look like it's in the exact corner. Lucas is going to have to get out of the pit if he wants to deal with it. But first step for Ocean, dealing with Phelps inside of the bomb site. Phelps is stuck in a one-on-one -on -one here. It all comes down to the first frag, and he gets it. Lucas towards long A. What a shot from Lucas. As uh, maybe the op skills are a little genetic, Glazer. Again, Henny and him, born from the same family. So, I've always um, thought about that. Right? Just maybe see. Lucas is a little jealous. Right? He's like, like man, I if, if I was the opera, I would ace Cloud9. <laughs> right? Oh, man. Well, he finds a swift shot in the end and double the scoreline here. Games Academy looking primed to take their map choice in Dust 2. Sponsor list with uh, some digs to play with. But being that it's seven rounds for them. I'm a little surprised that they don't force buy here, to be fair. There's a lot of rounds to gather back up, but I'm you know, just going to wait and get a better buy in the next. Dark taking down Invert and Ocean and B, and that should be the round. Trying to win seven rounds in a row on CT side of Dust2. I think the Invert getting an op has a lot to do with that, because we saw that was a major success. I forget who they played last that we casted, but... He was the big difference maker. And with the amount of frags that they've been getting, we see how low Games Academy is here. Before all these kills come through, a lot of them are below 1,000. So that gives all the more reason to force by for former SKDC. But it seems like uh, Invert's op is the reason. Yeah, that could definitely be it. And, well, Twister just picked one up, so... Maybe they'll have that dual op set up. Nifty didn't look too bad with it. Not going to uh, be able to keep it in play. Phelps finds Twister. And that was actually an ace from Phelps, taking down the entire team. So, nice work from him. Padding the stats on the anti-eco, can't go wrong with that. And now we get the last buy here, potentially. Imagine as much from the sponsor side. Got one round to try and put up a good defense and then climb that mountain. When your team wins 16-7, and you're just riding roller coasters at Six Frags Theme Park, it's got to feel good. <laughs> hasn't been doing much the whole game. But his teammate really pulling through. Hot flash out B. Ocean tries to turn from it, but instead goes down. Now Invert misses his first shot with the AWP. Stuck at window. He needs to come up. He can't afford to go down, but he has to try to get some kills. That should be bad. So three left up to attempt the retake. Then we got a flash and a Molotov. Not looking good. Nifty with his op as well. Else trying to find someone at double stack, but... Easy trace through the smoke. Shot from Nifty, but finds himself alone and showtime on the flank. In the end, ends with eight, eight frags, so adds it a little bit near the end. But yeah, if showtime even shows up, could have been even uh, better for Games Academy, to be fair. There was a couple rounds where he just couldn't hold long as much as maybe he wanted to, but still, 16-7, to 7, Games Academy. Going to be feeling great about that.
Uh, but Cash is coming up next, and this is a, a damn strong map for SKDC. So interested to see how this is going to go down, but we are going to take a short break when we return map number two.